Alright, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Incredible Mandy. It's a action puzzle platformer indie game? I don't know. It seemed really pretty, so I figured I'd just throw in a request, and yeah, sure enough, showed up in my inbox. Uh, actually, in my Twitter inbox, of all things, but you know what, that's fine. Uh, let's see, so chapters. Looks like there's... how many? Four... oof. Not a short game, what, 16? 16 chapters, give or take? Uh, let's see... Easy mode or challenge mode? Let's do challenge mode. This is probably going to be a one-off. Just because... Ooh. Okay, this looks nice. And they're dead. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> the dream failed to wake me up, and the deepest dream lies a person and a truth. They were very casual about the fact that just meteors were falling from the sky. But yeah, this game looks really nice. It's got kind of, I'm not going to say a low poly. It reminds me of, oh, what am I thinking? I don't even, there's a couple of different, oh, a little bit of a chop there. All right, whatever. It reminds me of Rhyme, I guess this is the easiest example. Oh. Memories of the war have not yet faded away in her dreams. She's still f she feels waves of pain from the limbs that she lost. Oh, she was missing an arm. I didn't even notice that. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, there's like... Oh, that's interesting. It's not so much a chop as you can control the height of the camera with the right stick. Well, you're just like moving around. Oh, that's that's strange. I don't. How many other games have that sort of thing? Not many. Not many at all. So it's gonna make moving the camera around. Cause yeah, it's it's got uh, stick acceleration. Oh, where's my face? I don't have a face. That's okay. I didn't need a face anyway. Uh. Oh. Doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> can I just like crouch walk? Okay, I can just crouch walk under this. Oh. Okay, there we go. And that's how you sprint. Okay, so there is, there is like kind of. Can I do this? Yep. So there's basic. Uh, what do I even call? Game came up with this type of platforming system first. I'm gonna call it Uncharted. Summon your sword. I have a sword. Why did I summon it? Oh! That's cool, so it just floats floats behind me. Oh, that's a neat system in the ladder. I guess it, Oh, those are handholds for the top. That's clever, I like that. Stand close to the butterfly spring to refill your MP. Okay, so it's got basic attack combat system. Oh, what was that? I have no idea. I have another mechanic that I don't know about. Whoop. Okay, so I think we have archery. Yeah, you don't step forward at all. Wow, this thing is a meat wall. Okay, there it goes. Oh, that's nice looking. The, like, fade away-ish. Okay, so I have some kind of spectral archery. It doesn't work so hot during, like, actual combat. Oops. The base can be rotated when the fan is powered off. Okay. 
So we can rotate this around further. Probably there. Okay, I figured as much. And what is this? Charge the sword in your hand. Okay, so I can use that to hit meters and stuff. Looked like there's really a whole lot of... Oh, there was an exploration thing. Well, it's too late now. I can't go back. Oh, right. It was just another lore chest. Which I should probably pay attention to. Exploration is important. It reminds me of Rhyme, but with like a combat system and some other things. Oh, you can sprint through the wind. Okay, that's faster than the, the bad crouch business. I kind of wish you could actually just rotate this thing when the uh, fan was on. But I guess the point is, uh, they didn't, they probably don't want you, uh... It's easier to design the physics system so you don't have to move the... I don't know. I don't have a proper explanation here. It's just a thing. Oops. I actually really like that. That's pretty cool. Okay, so we've got another one of those enemy enemies. Question. Oh god. There's no lock on, is there? Okay, so we just have to fight these things. It doesn't feel like challenging does anything more than makes them tougher. Maybe? I'm not entirely sure. I've been playing uh I've been playing Darksiders 3, obviously. As of I guess the the day this this video goes up. I think I spent six hours playing it yesterday. Great game. I mean, obviously, kind of mixed bag for some people, but I'm loving it. Uh, but the game is legitimately, like, really hard. <laughs> and so... I'm in, I'm enjoying the process, process but it's, it's making me question whether or not I'm actually good at video games or if games are designed well. I don't know. Comes... I guess it comes with the fact that, you know, whenever I'm complaining about, like, a, a errant difficulty curve in a video game, everybody's like, yeah, maybe you just suck. And so, like, yeah, it gets to you after a little bit. So now I'm playing this and I'm like, are the enemies just kind of meat wally, or is this, like, normal? I don't know. Maybe I've just been playing too many easy games lately. The robot is an ally, but it'll only stand on light pillars. Oh, I see. So you kind of, like... He goes along based on hands, maybe? The robot can help you with the crate. Okay. How do we... Well, that's an arrow. Ah. Okay, so I had to press and hold Y. Oh, that's why it's yellow. That makes sense. That's nicely contextual. Lost me for a moment there. Okay, charge your sword to enable the pillars of light and guide your robot forward. Okay. I kind of get this. And it looks like we do have a loot loot chest below us. Did we get it? Oh, we have to get both. If I stand right here... There we go. Okay, and let's drop down, because we've got another one of these memory chests. Every time the brother 
is living in his own world. The mood becomes truly strange. So he's got a helmet on and he's swinging a flashlight around like a lightsaber or something. Okay. Yeah, I don't think this game is English originally. The translation isn't so bad, but it is definitely noticeably uh, not not native, I think. Ah. A clunky. Doesn't look like I've missed anything. Shame that I can't go back, but you can always go back to previous chapters, which probably means that there isn't much of an upgrade system? There might be more of an upgrade system in this game. Uh, let's just try turning this off. Oh, I gotcha. So that'll push the robot that direction. Now, it does actually look like there's some kind of lower path over here. I can't tell you if there's actually anything there. It might just be one of those that I could have jumped down there and s instead and taken the ladder up. I'm just going to keep progressing for a bit. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any kind of like nooks or crannies hiding in there. So, nothing to look for. Ish. There's a bunch of explorable looking places. Okay, so it's telling me I can shoot the arrow. Is this like a tripwire? No. It's got like a wire between two two swords. No, I'm not supposed to shoot at that. Maybe I'm supposed to shoot at that thing? I... Otherwise, it could just be telling me about the, the arrow. Oh. So does it disappear? Maybe? Why is that last one? Oh. I see. That's why there's these lower areas. Those platforms sink. That's what's going on. Oh, you can sprint up ladders. Okay, well that's good. Oh, I did, I did get my sword into this thing. Did I get it? No. I have no idea what I'm doing. Nope. Okay. I have no idea what I'm doing with this, like, weird sword chain that we've got going on here. It just exists. Unless I can, like, chain it into... No? Um... I'm reminded of Astroneer. Unless it's one of those where you can actually, like... Do a light burst. And have it chain through. We've got the robot there. Okay, so you can set up a sword chain to cause a series of explosions for some kind of puzzle solving reason. That's actually really neat. I don't know why they showed it to us there, of all places, because it didn't seem like it was at all, all like relevant to what's going on, but it's a neat mechanic. Okay, anything else around here? No. I... Uh... How the... I think that's a spot the robot's supposed to go stand on, maybe. But maybe we can get him here. It also looks like there might be, like, a, a nook. No. I'm not betting on that nook too much. Wait. Look at the grass here. Oh, I see. Yeah, I don't think I can get up to that nook. I think that might just be a, a purely decorative nook. 
Oh, good. Going down ladders is, is nice and quick. Yep. Yep. So, money question. What do we do from here? Oh, I bet we just chain the robot onto, onto this pillar as it goes by. This is... Well, I've done worse things. Okay. It doesn't really look like there's much of a reason to climb this. I, I want to explore because it feels like I'm supposed to. But it feels like 90% of this stuff is, is just pure, pure decoration as opposed to anything else. Hmm. Oh. That's, that's cute. Now the question is... Okay. Oh! So sword me melee attacks can also play as detonated swords. So they, they did kind of explain that to us. Uh... Should be able to do this, and if this doesn't work... Then we start sword chaining! Now that's... is that one of the ones that the robot will stand on? I have no idea. Well, it doesn't cost me too much to just like sit up at a giant debt cord style location. So if I set this off right here... There we go. That's cool, actually. I mean, it's... it's... <laughs> Puzzle solving with explosives! Oh, that reminds me, there was another indie game. Oh, max health increased! By the smidge! But still, okay, so there's an upgrade system. I thought it was mainly just gonna be plot stuff. Well, that's nice. I... I don't know, I've... I've always really liked, uh... Legend of Zelda's upgrade system. It's sometimes much more compelling, and honestly, it's frequently more compelling than most. It's it's more compelling than most like RPGs, because RPGs, okay, you get EXP, your stats go up by like a marginal amount, but so do the enemies, so it's kind of, eh. Hey, I was supposed to play as the princess. But you're happy playing as a monster, aren't you? Oh, and that's back when she had limbs. Bit dark, bit dark. All right, should work. There we go. Uh, let's see, what was I gonna say? Yeah, I don't know. I just like the Zelda upgrade system because it feels meaningful. Whenever you get an HP upgrade, it's like, yeah, that actually makes like a difference here. As opposed to leveling up in games where, like, in Pokemon, the difference between level thirty and thirty-three, unless you evolve, not really a whole lot of a difference there. be ready to climb this thing. My assumption is he's gonna let go. There we go. I guess I have to manually tell him to let go anyway. But yeah, there was a... There was another indie game that I was gonna cover a while back. That kinda had to do with chained explosions and stuff. It seemed like a neat game! And I was like browsing the... For example, you can play swords into fan blades. This is a neat system. I'm not... In... Oh, I see. I was gonna say, I'm not entirely sure how to rotate this, but here we go. But yeah, so I was browsing the Steam forums for this other game. And the developers were just, like, angrily yelling at, at people that were leaving bad reviews. And it's like, oh. Uh. Eh, maybe next time. I don't know. Just reminded of that. So I'm assuming I'm supposed to hit that thing up there. But instead, I've <laughs> set everything to explode. 
Oh, I guess I didn't need to charge it up. Alright, well, that's fine. This is a charming little game. I hope... I wonder if you have to load last save, restart. Yeah, I wonder how it saves. Maybe maybe these things are, are checkpoints that I can rely on. No? I don't know. Don't need it too much, but it's always the question of, like, how long is this level going to be? It doesn't look like it's going to be terribly long, though. But most areas, level zones, don't? I don't know. I think this is still supposed to be, like, a 16-hour game or something, like, fairly lengthy. I'm always impressed at the, the amount of, like, length you can get out of, like, indie games and stuff. Uh, where is it going? Oh. Oh! Okay. So, it... It's got Mega Buster hands. That's cool, actually. And suddenly I really, really want Mega Man, uh... Okay, so it looks like I can trigger these. And suddenly I just want Mega Man Legends 3. They they keep teasing it, kind of, sort of, like extending the license or trademarking it or... Who knows? Ah, oh, it'd be lovely. Oh well. I mean, someday. I am... I'm actually getting way too chilled out by this game's, like, super peaceful style. It's... Actually making it kind of hard. Okay, for a second I thought there was like a collectible over there. It's actually making it kind of hard to like take anything seriously. I just want to sit back and relax. Makes me question whether or not this game really needed combat, admittedly. Oh no. Left my robot behind. Except for I didn't. Because group Goldberg machines. I gotta figure this out. Maybe. Maybe... Okay, so we've got... We've got a broken fan. Which obviously makes this a bit tougher. There we go. How do I get that one to rotate? Okay, back over there. I hope this works. I guess we'll find out pretty quick. I guess there's there there were ways that I could have done that better. Now that I'm looking at it, is that uh, this like lip here actually makes it kind of. Inconvenient. Will they attach? Okay, they will attach. Are they close enough, though? I guess we'll find out. I think we got it. All right, there it goes. Now, how do I get up? Oh, oh, oh. Well, that's easy enough. Robot, help. Robot, help before I sink into the abyss. Actually, I'm not going anywhere. I guess some of these platforms are a little sturdier than others. It's like a giant playground almost. I dig it. I don't know, I like playground style games. So how do we do this? So, robots up there can grab and pull one of these. I'm assuming... What is the merits of this one?
Is there a reason to explore? I'm assuming I can't climb onto that. Yeah, there might be one of those, like, memory things hidden, hidden around, like, behind. I guess we might as well go check it out while we're here. Well, there's, there's a something. Aha. Is there a reason to explore? Always a reason to explore. Max health increased. Not entirely sure if it's necessary. I Honestly, I'm not entirely sure if there was much of a point to the difficulty uh, settings in the beginning of this game. It doesn't look like there's anything below that's worth I'm assuming that's not climbable. It kind of is, but not the not the means means not the kind of way that you'd want to climb. I have no idea why you'd want the golem to bring up the other block. Oh. I see why you'd want the golem to bring up the other block. I bet we can cheese this. Let me check. So we're gonna have him drop that. Now it's gonna get there. I think we can make that jump? No. Okay. That should probably be enough coverage. I don't want to hit the other ones. So yeah, the reason why you want to get this one, and I kind of foolishly walked right into this. I, I should have known. Always the suboptimal one first, because that's, in fact, the only way to do it. But yeah, you have to jump from this block. Unlike the last one, which already had a block to stand on, these only have one on this side. I'm tired, and I'm thinking slow, because this game makes me feel slow. Oh, oh, being on this block. Nope, nope, nope. Being on this block felt weird. Okay. There we go. I just have to not screw it up. Don't mess up, Wanda Bot. You can do it. There we go. I believed in myself. Wow. This is kind of extensive, actually. Well, at the very least, let's summon the robot. We're not even on the top yet. Ow. This ain't short. Wait, she has an arm. Oh, fake sister! Look, she can even run past the weird Mega Man creatures without even... without even breaking a sweat. She's cheating. We're dead. Being haunted. Okay. This is a considerable something. I'm not actually sure if it's nearly as complicated as it looks on, on first glance. But you never know. Anyway, let's go get down here and murder this thing. Okay, so the answer is get smacked by this guy. It hurts. Well, I gotta give them credit for their enemy variety. We've already fought, what, three different types? That's welcome. And they look really nice, like this kind of weird glassy low poly style. 